Last week, when on a local Facebook group, I asked if I could get a cheap and quality plumbing service. Every tradesperson there started criticizing me that nothing like that exists. If you want quality, you have to pay for it. One of the questions I routinely get on the channel is as what's the cheapest and fastest way to run 70 billion plus large language models locally. Unlike plumbing, there is a way here. The short answer is that at least two NVIDIA 3090 or two 4090 GPU cards and you can get them second hand from marketplace online for around US dollar 1000 each. Running massive AI models with 70 billion parameters or more requires significant computational resources. When a single graphics card cannot handle the entire model, it's really necessary to split it across two cards. And that is why I have suggested two NVIDIA 3090 cards here. And by the way, there are two primary approaches to do this. First is layer parallelism and second is tensor parallelism. Layer parallelism divides a model into layers with each card handling a portion of the layer. During inference, one card computes intermediate results using its assigned layer and then passes the values to the other card, which computes the final result using the remaining layers. This approach minimizes communication between cards but only utilizes one card at a time. Tensor parallelism, on the other hand, splits the model's tensor across both cards, enabling both cards to compute parts of the same layer simultaneously. This approach harness the computational power of both cards but requires more synchronization and data transfer between them. Also, 8-bit cache is quite important here as it refers to using an 8-bit precision key value cache rather than physical CPU and GPU caches. This technique is particularly useful for transformer-based language models which generate new tokens based on previous ones. By caching K and V values in the attention block, some calculations can be reused, saving time at a cost of memory. Quantizing the KV cache to 8-bit precision or even 4-bit reduces memory usage while maintaining the benefits of KV cache. But we are largely talking about without quantization here. I will touch upon quantization in a bit in detail. The NVIDIA 3090 cards have 24 GB of VRAM each, totaling 48 GB when used in tandem. This is comparable to the 24 GB of VRAM on a single 4090 but with the trade-offs of higher power consumption and slightly lower compute performance. But for inference workloads, memory capacity and bandwidth are often the biggest bottlenecks, making 2390 a viable option for running massive AI models. In addition to using multiple GPUs or splitting model across GPUs, there are other alternatives to tackle the computational challenge of massive AI models. One such approach is quantization, which reduces the precision of model weights and activations from 32-bit floating point numbers to 8-bit or even 4-bit integers. This can lead to significant reductions in memory usage and increased inference speed, but may also result in some accuracy loss. Other techniques like knowledge distillation, pruning and sparse models can also help reduce the computational requirements of these massive models. The cheapest solution when it comes to quantization locally is probably to get three Tesla P40s or maybe two they will cost you about $500 to $600 in total. <clears throat> and of course, that depends on where you live. For example, if you are in the US, in Silicon Valley, or in San Francisco, you will get it cheaper. If you are remote, you will get it in quite inexpensively. If you are in Australia like me, you will get it even uh, at a more dear rates. Also, these P40s, they require additional cooling, which can be bought separately and I would highly suggest that you buy it because and also you would need a special motherboard with the three evenly spaced PCIe slots if you don't want to use risers. 
and that will allow you to comfortably run 70 billion model with q6 quants but if you want to run q8 quantization level you would need another p40 card and if you don't know what these quantization levels are i have done a video on them please search the channel in my opinion the need for multiple high-end gpus to run these massive ai models really underscores and highlights the growing importance of distributed computing and parallel processing in the field of ai research as models continue to grow in size and complexity we will likely see even more innovative solutions to tackle the computational challenges they pose also the focus on optimizing memory usage and reducing precision to 8-bit or even 4-bit highlights a need for efficient algos and data structures to support the growth of AI research. The exploration of alternatives like quantization and other techniques will be crucial in making these models more accessible and deployable in real-world scenarios. So again, if you want to install these locally, like 70 billion Llama 38 billion, uh, La sorry, Llama 370 billion, just get to nvidia card 3090 and you should be good but if you ask me i think you don't have to run the full model locally unless you are doing something really special but so if you want to test it out just to play around at home just use a quantization just use a quants in gguf or exl2 format and you should be good and if you want to know how to run those quants i have like hundreds of videos on the channel and I would highly suggest that you go through the channel. For instance, let me quickly show you a few of the videos which I have made on Lama 3 8 billion instruction tune and few of its quants recently on my channel. And you can watch those videos and then follow the instructions. And you should be able to install those quants on your local system and play around with that Lama 3 8 billion. So this is a channel where you are already watching this video. You can see that I have done this Llama 3 locally on Windows. It's the easiest tutor tutorial which you can follow. If you want to install it on custom data set or fine tune, you also have that option. If you want to install it on Linux, I also have the video on it. And then not only Llama 3, I have heaps of videos on other models like Phi, Chama, and the list goes on and on. And there are a lot of other things you can do. So i would start i would suggest start with this windows one as this one is the easiest tutorial as how to run the quads so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and i was able to answer one of the most frequently asked question if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching